this time, I'd like to invite any children that would like to come up for the children. Hello. <laughs> Anybody else? You were quick. You were first on, on the on the shoot there. Come on. Now oh, come on up. Come sit right over here. Hello. Oh, here they all come now. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you guys. Hello. Hello. Well, this morning, here in a few minutes, if you want to gather, if you want to sit right here, you can see. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, this morning in the gospel lesson here in just a few minutes, we're going to hear um, Jesus talking to the disciples. And it, he's going to give kind of one of his last uh, commands to the disciples. And it's gonna, he's going to say, I want you to love one another. So I want you guys to think about when you were little, what is something that you really loved? I'll give, you, I'll give you a hint. Well, I'll hold this right here. This is my little teddy bear that my grandparents gave me when I was really little. You can tell it's been, it's been loved a lot. Uh, but I had this when I was really little, and it was something that I really loved. What about you? Stealing milk. Stealing milk? Okay. <laughs> what else? Yes, ma'am. Say it again. Different toys. Okay. Did any of you guys have stuffed animals? Some of you, what, what kind of stuffed animal did you have? Nice, a Captain America bear. Yes, ma'am. Okay, a llama. What else? Yes, yes, sir. A polar bear. Nice. A cat stuffed animal. What about you? A big crocodile. A big crocodile. Nice. So we all had little little things or big things that that we loved when we were little. Well, I'm just about, you're so observant. I'm going to go grab that right now. Because some of those things that, uh, that we love as we get a little older, it transfers into other things. Like I really loved fishing growing up. And I, I, my grandparents would take me out and we'd go fishing. And you could go with friends and go and have a good time and spend time with people that you love. And sometimes you might get lucky and even catch a fish. So that was something that I really liked. And then as I've gotten a little... As I've gotten a little older, I also like to play golf. This is more of a love-hate relationship with uh, <laughs> golf uh, sometimes. But the same thing. You could go and spend time with your friends and play, play a game and have fun and be able to see them. The last thing, thank you, the last thing is that how many of you guys have someone at home that you love? Yeah? Oop, upside down. I brought a picture uh, this is my family. This is my mom and dad and sister and me. And here you go. I'll hold it up over here. But these are the family members that I love and people that I really care about. So when you leave here today, I want you to be able to go and remember in the gospel lesson, we're going to talk about here in just a minute, that God asks us to love one another. All right? Thank you guys for coming up and participating. Good morning again. Uh, the gospel lesson that we, heard, that we just heard is from John, and Jesus and the disciples are gathered together. And when I think about it, I imagine them sitting around a campfire, talking, spending time in fellowship, and not knowing that Jesus is about to get arrested. Jesus calls them together and says that he has something important that he wants to tell them. And it really makes me think to the many times that my Dad has waved me over and whispered words of wisdom in, in my ear. Jesus takes this time to tell the disciples, this is the most important of all my commands. Love one another. He wants to make sure that this command is remembered, so he repeats it. Love one another. As I, as I have said many times, I am truly blessed to be able to work here at APLC and have an occupation that lets me see God's love every day in the world. My job allows me many opportunities to be around wonderful people that are doing their best to show God's love and grace to others. So many experience the love of God through interactions with other people. Non-believers so many times are brought to faith communities through the love and kindness of others. Sometimes this occurs in one-on-one -on -one situations, and other times it might happen in some type of large group event. The thing that I love about APLC 
is that we try our best to have multiple types of events in the life of the church that hopefully reaches out to all different types of people. Whether those are large church events such as the Reformation Festival or the church picnic, a youth event like a lock-in, a small group event like, like choir or joining a Bible study, and it might even be something that's one-on-one, -on -one, like an interaction, uh, a visit from a Stevens minister. All of these activities are rooted in the love of God, working through us to serve not only our church family with love, but the whole world. Now, being a youth minister, I may be a little biased, but a few times during the year that I can really see this being accomplished is almost always during the summer with our young people. Summer break allows our, our youth many opportunities to experience God's love in so many different ways. This happens at summer camp, vacation Bible school, music day camp, high school service trips, mission trips, national youth gatherings. Um, these are all opportunities for our young people to have fellowship, to learn, to serve, and to invite. And I really think those four things are something that all young Christians need to have had experienced as they grow up and as they grow into young adults. As a youth growing up in the Houston area, I was truly blessed to attend a wonderful church, New Hope Lutheran Church, um, and it was very active in the youth programs there. Uh, when I was in high school, I was able to go to two different mission trips and two different national gatherings. And during these events, I can honestly say it really shaped my view on, on religion and also on how to go about living your life. Um, and I can honestly say that, that a lot of these activities shape the person that I am today. So one of the first priorities that I had when I started working at APLC was to establish summer camp and high school service trips, mission trips, at Abiding Presence. Our pastor at the time was Pastor Bill Bergerman, and he agreed that these are very important events to have for young people, and he also agreed to participate in our first mission trip that I hosted here at APLC. Uh, we went down to Monterey, Mexico, and we stayed with host families for a church that was sponsoring us for a week. Our host pastor, Pastor Enrique, and members of his congregation took us out to the surrounding area, and we brought food and invitations to the people in the area to come to worship. This was a startup church, and even though many of us could not speak Spanish, we performed puppet shows of Bible stories for the children. We played games, we sang songs, we blew bubbles, and we learned a lot of our host church's traditions. Interacting with all these people and sharing these new traditions and doing our best to invite and welcome people to this church that was trying to serve this community in Monterey, it was just a wonderful experience. Our youth really bonded together so much during this trip that when they came back to San Antonio, they were bursting full of God's love and ready to share everything that they had learned with the other youth and adults here in our congregation. And I am forever grateful to Bill and Ann Bergerman and Miss Linda Menchaca, who was actually here at Early Church, so that was great to see her, for sponsoring these uh, sponsoring this event and starting such a wonderful new tradition at APLC. Our youth learning that they don't need to know someone or even speak the same language to be able to love one another is just awesome. God's love will work through them and guide them in a lot of the different situations that they will deal with in their lives. Most of the time, it is easy to love your friends and family. So when you have disagreements and are frustrated in life with others, do your best to remember to just love one another. Life is always full of twists and turns. And by, by no means do I handle life's challenges in the best way possible. It has taken me years to learn to always listen, practice patience, and try and act from a place of kindness first. I believe if you try and tackle life's obstacles with kindness and love, the results are normally more satisfying. Taking time away from a negative situation and asking the Lord for guidance has helped me so many times through a number 
of, of tough ordeals in my life. As a young man, believe it or not, I, I was a bit of a hothead. Uh, I was uh, super competitive. And uh, over the years, I believe the Lord has helped mellow me a bit and uh, has taught me to try and handle most situations with grace and kindness. And working with young people has taught me massive amounts of patience. <laughs> Love one another. It is a simple message, but not always easy to accomplish. So as you leave church today and someone happens to cut you off in traffic on your way home, instead of getting mad and yelling something that would make your grandma blush, take a deep breath and I encourage you to say my mom's favorite two-word phrase, bless you. <laughs> and remember God's, Jesus' final command, love one another. Amen.